Kevin, you guys had a 12 point lead at halftime, and then in the third quarter it goes away. You guys can't really get it back. Just what, what do you think the difference was in that second half? Giannis put his head down, got to the rim, got to the free throw line, now slowed us down. Have you, uh, have you ever remember seeing Steve get even close to that animated? Yeah, I mean, we watched him play for 20 years. So I've been, been on the court with him when he's talked crazy to the refs. My first few years, Steve used to talk so crazy to the refs. So when he didn't get attacked as a coach, I'm like, because he's feisty. So, uh, but I, I mean, you got to handle yourself differently as a coach, but sometimes you, um, you know, you just want to go out there and fight for your guys. And I think that's what he did tonight. Kevin, does that make a difference for a team seeing a coach? Like that. I mean, it might make difference to some players. I mean, I don't mind. I don't care <laughs> either way. I mean, um, I know my coach is there for me. I know he supports us and wants the best for us. So him getting a tech really don't enforce that in my mind even more. It's just I like that he was excited about the game and into the game that much. I mean, um, but he's always like he's always into the game. Oh, you know what I mean? But I don't think that proves a point to us, to me. I don't know about my rest of my teammates, but to me, nah. Kevin, you guys are plus 30 in the second quarter this year. What, what do you think's been about that quarter where you guys have been so dominant and been able to get your act together? I don't know. I mean, we're playing the Spurs. I don't, I mean, I'd rather have a full game of good basketball. I know. I mean, it's, second quarter is cool, but I want to have four quarters of good ball. Uh, but, you know, we're a good team, so we're going to have Spurs. You know, we're going to play in Spurs sometimes, but I want us to play full games. When you look at the last couple of games, it's been back and forth, emotionally charged. What would you say has been the biggest lesson that the team has kind of gotten from these four games that you hope to kind of move forward in? I mean, just taking an L is always tough, you know, and it's always a learning experience. So um, just watching film on what we did wrong more so than – you know, the stuff that we got right. And I think that's always going to help you as a ball club when you can look at your weaknesses and try to make it turn them into strengths. So we lost the last couple of games um, some little, on some little things. And, you know, so it's going to be good to see that and try to get better at it. But we got another game tomorrow. So, you know, that's the beauty about the NBA. Speaking of that game, when you watch Luca from where he was in his rookie year now, how would you describe the type of player you see. I'm not about to do this all year with you, uh, Nick. I'm not about to praise these dudes. All I, 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 <laughs> I respect them. Luke is who he is, but I'm ready. We, we played them tomorrow. Um, they got a good team, even playing great basketball, but I'm not about to, <laughs> I'm not about to go in depth of how I feel about these guys every day, um, but I respect them. Specific to the defense, what do you think you guys need to clean up most going into tomorrow night? Um, I think our defense was pretty solid tonight. Um, they were under 43, 44% most of the night. Uh, they, they got loose there at the end, but for the most part, I think we were connected. You know, we got to continue that um, going forward. You know, we got to just be guarding the best players in the league night after night. So um, they're going to get out. They're going to get theirs because they got the ball in their hands. But uh, it's all about making it as tough as you can. Kevin, you guys got that good little spread at Edmund in the first half. Just what did you see at him? I love his minutes. I love when he can get to the rim. He's so quick and athletic that he can put pressure on the rim for us in that second unit. And I think that's what got us going. Like you said the second quarter was big for us. I think Edmund was huge. Um, his momentum, his energy, as soon as he stepped into the game, um, just kind of we fed off of that. So we need more of that from him. Um, you know, it was good to see him get his rhythm. Nine points in six minutes, four for six. I like what he bought.